With Arizona expanding vaccine eligibility to anyone 16 years and older, the busiest and highest volume vaccination sites across the state are critically short supply of volunteers. Tina Giuliano is joining us now with what you can do to help out. Tina. At the beginning of the vaccine rollout, there were around 700 to 800 volunteers in total between the four vaccination sites in Arizona. Volunteer shifts were being booked right away, but since last week, the surplus of volunteers took a sharp decline. Before the vaccine was made available to people over 16 years old, volunteering at a vaccine site had a huge incentive. Those that volunteer were able to get their vaccine after their shift. According to Rhonda Oliver, the president of Hands On Phoenix, the need for volunteers has not diminished in any way as they are a critical part of the vaccination process. You know, a number of people learned that if they volunteered, the the perk was that they got the vaccine vaccine at the end of their shift. And so I think a lot of volunteers well-meaning and wanted to help, but also saw it as a way to um, get the vaccine earlier than they might have otherwise. Oliver said they knew the surplus of volunteers wouldn't last forever, but volunteers are necessary to help administer the vaccines from moving traffic along to booking second appointments and gathering more supplies. Oliver said the shifts are changing, particularly as the temperatures outside rise. They are transitioning into indoor vaccine locations and overnight appointments. But the bottom line is simple. They need volunteers to help run the site smoothly. In the studio, Tina Giuliano, Cronkite News.